Hey, AP Chemistry. So I wanted to walk you through the beer Lampert Law simulation. When this appears in the Google Classroom, there are directions on what you are doing. One very important thing is I have assigned each of you a chemical compound by last name. Make sure, and I'm gonna check, because it'll be in order, alphabetical in the spreadsheet, make sure you are doing your selected compound. Um, and that'll make more sense when we get to the simulation. So I'm gonna click open the simulation and just kind of walk you around it. So it's gonna open up and there's concentration in Beer's Law. You're gonna go to the Beer's Law one and this room kind of comes up. Now, there are a couple of things. There's like the wavelength of light and it kind of gives you the transmittance. If I click on it, it gives you the absorbance, good to go. Um, and you could change, and this is where you click on this triangle thing to change whatever your compound is. You're not gonna change the wavelength, keep it there. You could change the concentration to whatever you'd like. We are gonna use micromolar. Okay, so micromolar is this mu m, and I'll write this later, but micromolar, um, one molar is equal to 10 to the sixth micromolar. So there's more micromolars in a molar. And so we're gonna keep it in micromolar for now. And so um, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna change this concentration a bunch of different times. You're gonna collect at least 10 pieces of data, and you're gonna get 10 concentrations, and 10 absorbances. So I'm going to do a couple. And you're going to record all of this in Google Sheets, right? So let's just do one example. So let's say I have, I don't know, let's do uh, 37 micromolar. It does not matter, OK? I click on this light, and there's my absorbance. You're going to go and open up a spreadsheet. And it doesn't matter, just a blank spreadsheet, OK? And on the x-axis, as I mentioned in the directions, is going to be concentration in micromolar. And the y-axis, which is going to be your dependent variable, is your absorbance. And that's unitless, and we just call it A for absorbance. Okay? Now, concentration is your independent variable because you're controlling it and you're changing it. Absorbance changes as a result of the concentration. And you're going to plot this data here. So let's go back over to the simulation. My concentration is 37 micromolar, and the absorbance that I get is 0 0.07. <clears throat> and now, just so you know, one molar is equal to 10 raised to the sixth micro, uh, micromolar. So if you want to div um, change your micromolar to molar, which you might do that later, you take your micromolar and you divide it by... 10 raised to the 6th. So um, I'll make a separate column over here that you don't have to do, but there's a way to do this in the spreadsheet. If I want this in molar, I take this, I'll do equal, I hit equal signs. Now, if you do equal sign, it like, notice how it kind of goes all over the place where you could do some calculations. I do equal sign, click on this cell, I do the left, um, uh, the slash sign, parentheses, and I will do 10 raised to the, which is an up caret, so it looks like this, six, right, parenthesis, boom, and it did the math for me, All right? So I, basically, if you see it up here, I take A2, any of these, divided by 10 raised to the six, and now this is my concentration in molarity. Um, you don't need to put it in molarity, but I wanted to show you that calculation. We're going to collect another piece of data. So let's say I change my concentration now. You could go up increments of whatever. I would suggest doing like even increments, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to change my concentration to 424 micromolar. So 424 does not matter. And look at my absorbance. My absorbance increased to 0.85. <clears throat> All right, and then what you're going to do is, and now I'm only going to do this for two data points, but you're going to have at least 10 data points um, or maybe some more. Um, you just scroll over whatever data you have, and you can click on this insert chart sign, and it might not open up. It does. So you want to make sure you have it as a scatter plot. If yours isn't a scatter plot, you need to change your chart type to scatter plot. So, like, there's different options. Da -da -da -da. You want to make sure that it says scatter. And then what you're also going to want to do, look at how it nicely gave me concentration and absorbance. Perfect. So I didn't highlight over the titles. I just highlighted over the data. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get the uh, 
slope of the line. So you have to go to customize. And then once you go to customize, you're going to go to series, click on series. And all the way down, it says error bar, data labels, and trend line. You're going to click on trend line, linear, and then label use equation. Now for me, I only have like one or two data points, so it's not really showing for me. But if you follow the steps that I did, the equation of the line will show up and I will be able to get that equation. So I, you don't see it in my graph because I only have two data points, but if you have multiple data points, it will do it for you. All right, and so this is all I want you to do for your simulation. I want you to get the idea of how to do a Beer's Law type of lab. We do not have an absorption spectrometer to do this lab, so the simulation is super helpful to do that. If you have any other questions or concerns, please let me know.